hi guys welcome back to my vlog channel today we are in the kitchen and we are going to be cooking a recipe i've never made before it is a lemon chicken looks delicious right now it's raining outside and i just love cooking when it's raining it just is like so peaceful and relaxing and usually i'll play like music too but since we're filming we can't do that this is the recipe that we're going to be following so shout out to eat with zoo for this so our first step is to cut up our chicken. I have two chicken breasts left. These have been in my fridge open for two days. What's wrong, guys? These have been open in my fridge for two days, so we're on the last day. We gotta use them today. We're going to cut these nice and thin. I usually like buying the already thin cut ones, but I can't always find them. So we have these thick ones that we're gonna cut. But before we start touching the chicken, we're gonna cook up our ingredients. So we're gonna chop up an onion, really small, he used a shallot, so that's the only thing I'm doing different. I'm just gonna use an onion instead because I do not have said shallot. And then I'm gonna do a side of asparagus, so I'm just gonna trim the bottoms of these because I forgot to do that last time. Last time I made these, but I've been loving asparagus, so good. And then we have some sun-dried tomatoes. And then we're using white wine in this recipe too. I'm like, doesn't matter what kind of white wine, but this is just a dry white from Costco. And then we're gonna chop this lemon in half and get the juice. And then that's pretty much it with chopping things up. So let's just chop up this onion here first. We're gonna chop it super fine. Guys, let me know of some good knives that I should get because I've had these same knives for so long and they're from Ikea. They get the job done, don't get me wrong, because I cook like every single day and they are still nice, but I feel like I could definitely use like a nice expensive sharp set. So I just looked at the video and he didn't use too much shallot, so we're just gonna do half of this small onion and put this in the fridge for something else. We're just gonna set these aside in here. Next for some asparagus, so you can just like break it, I saw, like it just breaks like where it needs to be broken, but I just break one and then usually cut them all around the same. And then I'm just going to oil up my pan. You guys, look at my new olive oil bottle. How cool is this? My friend got me this for my birthday. She made it. So she put this topper on the Casa Azul bottle. So cute. I just love how obnoxiously big it is. And it just looks so cute displayed in the kitchen. So we're just going to put these on a pan. Rub them around in the olive oil. And I got this new lemon pepper seasoning today. So we're gonna try this out on the asparagus. I think I'm also gonna put some of it on the chicken so then it'll all go really good. And then some salt. Get these all seasoned and coated, yummy. And then I'm gonna preheat the oven to, I think I usually cook them at like 375 or 400 and these will go in for like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna just pop these in now. Okay, now we are going to dice up some of these sun-dried tomatoes. I don't know how much to use. He didn't say like any measurements, but I don't know. I like tomatoes, so I'm gonna do like half of the bag. So how do they become sun-dried? Like, how do you get them like this? If you buy regular tomatoes, oh wow, those are tough. If you buy regular tomatoes, can you turn them into sun-dried on your own? Or like, how do you even do that? Ooh, they're nice and sticky. <laughs> I don't know if I will use all of this, honestly. This might be a little too much. Okay, way too much. We're just gonna use this amount right here. I don't know what I was thinking there. Like some sun-dried tomatoes with a side of chicken? <laughs> like, oh, I've never cooked with these before, so don't make fun of me. Okay, and now to slice the chicken. These are some thick pieces of chicken. Like, look at this thing. What is that purple part? Hey Google, why does my raw chicken have a purple part? <laughs> raw chicken know, grosses me out. Results on search. Well, speak them to me. I hope the chicken's not bad. I'm always like so paranoid with chicken. I feel like I've never seen this on chicken before. I assume it's just probably like blood or something, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try and make these a little bit thinner. I know, I need to get a meat mounder. I don't 
Jill got one of those, so we're just going to make them a little bit thinner. All right, perfect. Okay, now we're going to season front and back of the chicken. We're going to do some lemon pepper. We don't want to do too much of this since it's going to be like in a lemon sauce. And then some garlic powder. Onion powder. Yummy, yummy. You're not, you're not seasoning until you're seasoned. You're not sneezing it. You're not seasoning until you're sneezing. <laughs> oh, we have some oregano. And some pink salt. We're going to flip these over and do the other side. Okay, now we have a bowl of flour. We're gonna coat the chicken in the flour. He said to season the flour as well. Gonna have a whole lot of flavor. Lots and lots and lots of flavor. And now we're going to coat the chicken in the flour. Get it nice and coated. And then set this aside. last piece perfect okay guys let's get this chicken cooked so we're gonna add some olive oil to a pan and we're letting this heat up on medium high heat because we are pan frying this chicken which can you guys see my stomach i just burned myself so bad doing this the other day so we need to be careful and we're going to put the chicken in I'm gonna have to do the one piece last. Okay, I just added some more oil and butter and we're gonna fry that last one. I need to get a bigger pan, clearly. All right, we have our chicken set aside. Look how delicious that looks. Now we are going to make the sauce. So we're doing some butter. And with the butter, we are doing our chopped onion. Okay, we're now gonna add in these roasted red tomatoes and let this cook up a little bit. Yum, it smells so good. We're now gonna add some of that white wine. We're gonna do half a cup. Okay, now we're adding in some lemon zest. And some lemon juice. Also gonna be making some instant mashed potatoes. You can't have a dinner like this without mashed potatoes. I was thinking rice, but mashed potatoes will be better. And last but not least, we are adding in a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna let this simmer, and then we're gonna add the chicken back in. I think I'm also gonna add a little bit of Parmesan Maybe I'll just add Parmesan on top. I don't know, I just have a feeling this would go perfect in this meal. I added in the chicken. Oh my goodness, look how yummy this looks. And then I'm boiling some water for some instant mashed potatoes, some buttery homestyle potatoes. And then the asparagus is done. Hi, Taffy. Hi, baby. Yummy. My man likes his asparagus. I sure do, baby. <laughs> I love it. And here is the finished plate. Look how yummy. 